Hi everyone. So today we'll be looking at a vector's past paper question from May 2019. So vectors is a common topic on CSEC maths paper, especially on the paper two. Every year, there is a, a question on vectors in this paper too. So let's begin. So we have we have the question and we have our triangle right here. So what we'll be using to ask, actually answer the question is what we call the triangle law. So we'll always look for a triangle and go on from there. So this one says we should express the following vectors in the form of AB, which is a column vector. So you might see the questions or the instructions leading to a column vector. So the first one, the vector A to B. Now A to B, A to B is over this section right here. So obviously this is a triangle. So how do I get from A to B? So this is the direction that I'll be going in. So from A to B, I'll be going from A to O. So I'm just going to change this arrowhead and go to the left. So from A, from vector A to O plus, and I'm going from O to B. I'm going up or going to the right. So that's vector OB. Now, if you notice, we have vector OA, which is 9 and 0 respectively on the X and Y axis. So we want to find AO. Notice we're going in the opposite direction. So if we're going in the opposite direction, all of these values for OA would change to a negative value. So that hence will have negative nine. And no, we don't have negative zero, positive zero. Zero is just zero. Plus the value of OB. OB is going to the right or going to the top are going up, which is basically positive. So we do not change that value of OB, which is three and six. All right, so now we can actually do some vector addition. So we're gonna add the corresponding values. So negative nine added to three, which is equal to negative six, and then zero added to six is equal to six. So our value of the vector AB is equal to negative six on the x and six on the y. Or in other words, it's this is a column vector. So negative six is equal to a and b is equal to six. So another way of actually doing this or having that ao plus ob vectors is saying that ab is equal to negative OA, vector negative OA plus vector OB. So whichever way we choose, we get by the same answer. So once we have OA, we'll take the negation of OA. So everything in OA will turn to a opposite sign. So if it was a positive, it will change to a negative, so on and so forth. And we'll get back that same answer. Remember, we want to use this triangle law method. So let's look at part two. It says we should find the vector OD and then part three, the vector PE. So I'm just going to actually go back to the first uh, diagram that we had to help us when we're doing this vector question. So let's find vector OD. So let's begin. So vector OD. I'm going to actually draw a little imaginary line. Remember that we're going to try to use a triangle. So we always try to use a triangle law or the parallelogram law. All right, so I'm going to draw an imaginary line. Where's my drawing? So I'm going to go from O to D. Let me use a different color from O to D. All right. So you can either use, if you're going from O to D, you can use the triangle at the top or the triangle at the bottom. So we have more information for the triangle at the bottom 
So that's what we're going to use. So from O to D, notice the direction that I'm heading into, which is in the right direction. So let's begin. So part two, O, D, vector, O, D. Remember, a vector has both magnitude and direction. So O to D, I'm going to actually move from O to A. So O to A, going into the right direction, plus vector A to D. And I'm going to use a red uh, arrow to depict that notation for those OA going in this direction, which is the right, and from A to D going up. So let's continue. So vector OA, we have vector OA, which is 9 and 0. These are what we call column vectors. Now, what about AD? Do we have AD? I would believe so, because in the statement, it said that AD, vector AD, is equal to one third of the vector AB. And we just found AB just a while ago, not too long ago. So we'll have one third. AB is negative six and six. So what this means is that everything in the bracket will be multiplied by the scalar uh, one third or a third. So one third times negative six is negative two. One third is multiplied by six is two. And let's just add the corresponding value. So nine plus minus two gives us positive seven. Zero plus two gives us two. So our vector OD, OD, let me write that D a bit better. OD. So our vector OD is equal to seven on the X and two on the Y, or in other words, A is equal to seven and B is equal to two. So that's vector OD that we just found. Now the third one had highlighted the vector BE. So I'm gonna remove this join again right here and try to depict a, a triangle within a triangle, if you want to call it that. So let's go. So I want to get from B to E. Where is B to E? I'm just gonna draw an imaginary line right here, B to E. Now again, you can use the left side of the triangle or the right side of the triangle, whichever side gives you more information. And in this regard, the left side of the triangle gives us more information that we can use or manipulate to get our vector BE. So let's go. We're going to move from B to O. Add it to vector O to E. And I'm just going to use a red arrow to depict what I just said as the vector. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So B to O, I'm going down. Right? So my value would be a negation or the opposite. So I'm going down. Notice in the original diagram, it goes up. That means whatever value OB was, you're going to do the opposite of that to get BO or the negation of OB. And then I'm going to go from O to E, which is going in the positive direction. So let's start with this one. OK, so BO is the opposite of OB. So that means if you see three, positive three, you're gonna get negative three and so on and so forth. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna get negative three and then negative six. Now, what is vector OE? Again, this is quite important. We need to actually read our statements and make sure we understand whatever the instruction that we need to follow through. So I'm gonna highlight this right here. It says OE is one third of OA. And I actually have that OA vector because it was highlighted in the question again. So you must read the instruction and use these, use these instructions to help you with a question. The more 
information you're given, the better it is for you. Okay, so OE is equal to one third of OA. OA is nine and zero. So everything, everything in vector OA will be multiplied by one third. So one third of nine is three. One third of zero is obviously zero. So let's add negative three and three plus three gives us zero. Negative six plus zero is negative six. So our vector BE is equal to zero and negative six on the column vector form, which is what they wanted, okay? So that's it, vectors using the triangular law for this question. So we always try to have a little sketch on the diagram so we can better be able to answer the question. It's all about a triangle or a parallelogram. I remember a parallel parallelogram has uh, two triangles in that. So you can always, you always revert back to the triangular law. Okay, so that's it for today. And I hope to see you again in another. Thank you.